came on right at the end of that game against... A very good evening to our sports fans in Port Harcourt. You're welcome to Sports Hour on the River State Television. My name is Supriya Godwin Jaja. We'll be focusing on Victor Simen, and that's uh, the hottest topic in European football because his club, Napoli, embarrassed him with a video on TikTok. And the video uh, mocking him after he missed a penalty against Bologna, the match just watched now. And of course, uh, Victor Simen has said he's uh, be reserving uh, the idea of taking legal actions against his club, Napoli. And of course, so we'll also discuss about the calf. 2025 and 2027 rules because it will confirm that the will host the 2025 African Cup of Nations while the three nations that um, Tanzania, Kenya and um, Uganda will host 2027 African Cup of Nations so we'll take a call um, but uh, we're focusing on the Victor Cement saga story because it's actually trending, we have the video concerning that uh, reaction but let's have uh, First and foremost, let's take a look at that match between uh, Napoli and Bologna and in Italy. Of course, the penalty missed by Victor Simen. I will take your calls and, of course, move to other stories. Because there were a movement, a movement by, by the elbow of, of, of Andoye. The accuracy of that. All right, so that's highlights of Napoli's match against Bologna. And they, after that match, Napoli has decapitated. Lots of trouble coming up from uh, the Neapolitans. Uh, with Victor, Victor Sime stormed out of that match because uh, he was substituted. Uh, Luis Garcia came out to that press conference to say that all is well. And then um, Napoli as a club on their tweet, uh, uh, TikTok account released a video um, uh, uh, you know, mocking Victor Sime on that penalty miss. And Sime has responded by deleting all the pictures concerning himself and Napoli. So lots of trouble. But again, this night Napoli have a match and Victor Sime hopefully has been put in, has his name has been put going to play on uh, this night against Udinese in the Italian League. So let's hear from you. Um, what's your thought on Victor Simen and Napoli? Hello, good evening. Hello. All right, let's hear from you. So uh, just to confirm that, uh, well, Napoli will take on Bolo uh, Udinese tonight in Italy and Osime has been marked to start of that match. But before then, let's uh, look at the captions we have today. We have story coming up from Spike, Sky Sports concerning Victor uh, um, you know, reserving the right to take legal actions against Napoli as a club. Um, let's take a look at that caption. We have yes, so a confirmation. This is coming up from Sky Sports Italia. Um, this morning, uh, Victor Osime reserves the right to take um, legal actions against Napoli. Uh, because after that match, there was a video uh, mocking him after that penalty miss, and Osime has uh, the surgeon, not, not actually with Osimhen here speaking, his, his agent Roberto Candela has come out to say that Osimhen will have the right to take legal actions against Napoli for that uh, video leak. So, just a, a confirmation that we talked about this one earlier on that East African bid has been confirmed that uh, Uganda, Tanzania, and uh, Kenya will be working the 2027 African Cup of Nations. This is the first time three nations will come to vote the Nations Cup. The first time we had a co-host Nations Cup was in 2000 when Nigeria and Ghana co-hosted that Nations Cup, if you remember. Now we're beginning to see three nations, just like we had the World Cup in 20. 30 being, being co-hosted by US, Mexico, and Canada. Now, we're going to see three nations hosting this one. That's um, coming up in 2027. Uh, the African Cup of Nations is going to be hosted in three countries. Uh, Tanzania, uh, and, then, and then Tanzania, Kenya, and Uganda. And then 2025 Nations Cup, yes, the confirmation. Morocco will be hosting the 2025 Nations Cup. And this one came out earlier this afternoon. Uh, Morocco, yes, will host 2025 African Cup of Nations. Nigeria did send a bid. A joint bid with uh, the Republic. Uh, hopefully, we're waiting for the last bid for 2020. Maybe that's when Nigeria will have an opportunity to host the African Cup of Nations. Let's hear from you. Our number is on your TV screen. Let's hear from you on any of the stories you've been talking about. Call us to share your thoughts on any of the stories. Now, let's go and take a look, a, a look at our news bits, our news segment here. We had a news uh, on the Cement and the Nations Cup. Bid. Take a listen to the news. Victor Osimhen, the best striker in Italy for 2022 football season, was ridiculed for missing a penalty against Bologna in a league match in Italy. Although the 
Club has deleted a video on its TikTok handle. Victor Simmons agent Roberto Calenda has said that illegal action will be considered against Napoli. Victor Simmons is also unhappy as he has deleted all photos and videos of Napoli on his Instagram account. Victor Simmons is also reserving rights to take legal action against his own club, Napoli. It will be recorded that Victor Simmons scored 31 goals for Napoli last season, helping them to win the Scudetto and quarterfinals appearance in the Champions League. The Confederation of African Football CAF has confirmed Morocco as host of the 2025 African Cup of Nations to be held in June-July 2025 summer instead of the traditional month of January. CAF also confirmed the East African bid of Uganda, Kenya and Tanzania as host of the 2027 African Cup of Nations. It will be the first time three African nations will host the African Cup of Nations. All right, um, so let's hear from you. What's your thoughts, Victor Simon? Um, but he's been listed. Napoli have a match this night um, against Udinese in the Italian league. They are currently seventh on Italian league. There's a lot of pressure on that club. Um, the current, the former manager of Napoli, Luciano Spalletti, has gone to the Italian national team, and there's a new coach, Luis Garcia, as a French coach. And um, Garcia, you know, top coach here. Yes, he was in Saudi Arabia, but he's back to, back to Napoli. And um, it looks like Victor Osimhen is going to leave Napoli in January because with all these problems uh, arising, Osimhen could likely leave because the relationship between himself and some of the fans is also not uh, very good. That's all your thoughts on any of the stories or even the Nations Cup story. We talked about that Morocco voting 2025 Nations Cup and the joint vote of Kenya, Uganda, and Tanzania will hold 2027 African Cup of Nations. Good evening. Good evening. Yeah, your name? Yes, I'm Mr. Yeah, Good evening. Can you speak up a little bit? Yeah, All right, Kenneth. So, what, what do you think about this between Simon and Napoli problem? Can you hear us? All right. I, I just I, I just wish we could have spoken a little bit louder. But uh, let's hear from you again. Um, what, what's your thought about Vito Simon and Napoli problem? Um, well, this is a statement coming out from Vito Simon's camp from his agent Roberto Candela earlier this evening. He said Osimhen reserve the right to take legal actions against Napoli. Hello, good evening. Let's hear from you, Osimhen and Napoli story. That's our biggest story trending in the international football space today. And um, well, other European clubs are on red alert. Um, Real Madrid, Barcelona, Manchester City. These are all top clubs, very, very rich clubs. Uh, they are ready. They want to splash the money of Victor Simon if the uh, if it arises. So Napoli, um, let's wait and, and, and see what happens tonight. They have a match against Udinese. Good evening. Yeah, good evening. Yeah, where are you calling from? Yeah, from the. Alright, go ahead. Yes, uh, this is Steven Sider. Uh, apart from going to court, has the uh, club said anything? Well, the, the, the funny thing is that the club, uh, this, this, this was actually tweet, uh, sent from the club's official TikTok handle. So it's like the club that tweeted it, you know, the social media guys who handle the club, uh, the club's uh, social media, they tweeted that they, they sent that message out walking in we saw the video there so um okay. the club is aware about it and the club knows about it okay no problem thank you all right so let's hear from you uh Vito Simon, the, uh, well with lots of problems um all the big clubs in in the world they're actually on red a lot uh, by the way last year Osima rejected a one million pounds um, a week salary at al Nasi in saudi arabia to stay around in napoli good evening good evening sir. yeah you know where you're coming from I'm Pastor George. Pastor George, go ahead. Uh, this is that uh, when I see the airline that is more on the tradition of this thing, I know that they don't really need a list to be able to make it rather than to deserve that this thing. But it's not for a man who's enough to speak back on the street on the street. So somebody has to tell me that they are not using over that, over that thing. 
Then the court of law will be taken to decide him to the court of law. If you want to tell me, you can tell me something like that. I don't know why you have to the court of law to Africa from Nigeria. That is what happened. All right, well, thank you very much. Okay, so let's hear from more from you. Um, don't forget, we also have other stories outside of the Simeon problem in Napoli. There's also the story coming out from CAF that um, uh, three nations, uh, well, there's the 2025 African Cup of Nations to be hosted by Morocco, and then 2027 African Cup of Nations to be co-hosted by Uganda, Tanzania, and Kenya. Nigeria sent a bid for 2027 and 2029. Um, alongside the Republic. Um, so let's hear from you. And don't forget on Friday, on Sat on Sunday, I beg your pardon, Rivers United will take on Etoile de Filante in the reverse fixture of the second round preliminary stage of the CAF Confederation Cup. The player of the goal draw against the Burkina Faso side in Ouagadougou um, last weekend and they just need maybe a slim victory in Portaco to progress to the knockout stage of the CAF Confederation Cup. So let's hear from you on the similar story or on, on any of the stories and that, might, that might, might interest you. Um, the number is on your TV screen. Osime um, it says he's reserved the right to take legal actions against Napoli because of the racist uh, video they posted on their TikTok uh, account and don't forget, they said anyone earlier on that Osimo rejected a bid from Al Nasiri in Saudi Arabia worth one million pounds a week. Um, I mean, you can imagine Osimo rejected that that money. He currently earns about hundred fifty thousand euros at Napoli. He rejected one million pounds a week salary to stay in Napoli, and uh, look at how Napoli just reacted. So uh, let's hear from you on Osimo's story. Um, and, and of course, the Nations Cup and then on Rivers United, that would be really nice. Um, otherwise, we'll just take your calls and then wrap up the show. Good evening. Hello. Hello. Can you hear us? Can you hear us? So we will take one more call and then and then wrap up this show. Um, the top the, the, the topping the talking point has been the Gosimers um bust out bust in Napoli. And by the way, Napoli has a match this evening against Udinese. So stick around for that match and we'll give you all the updates as far as Napoli's match is concerned with Udinese. All right, um, so for a time that our friend on this show, special birthday shout out to one of our friends, um, that's um, Pastor uh, Jonathan Leka Okori. This is coming out from one of us here, Don Barry Grigri, saying a special birthday shout out to um, Pastor um, Jonathan Leki Okori. Um, happy birthday from us in RCB Sports. Thank you very much and have a happy, have a blessed birthday. Thank you very much. And of course, so that's why we're going to draw the curtains on today's program. Hopefully you can join us on Friday for or sports updates and Saturday for weekend sports. My name is Sopriyo Godwin Jada Catch you and God bless you.